everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill with this WBZ News Update. Our top stories today, a missing woman found alive after possibly spending days stuck in the mud at Borderland State Park in Easton. Emma Tatusky was reported missing by her family in Stoughton last week. Yesterday, hikers heard her screaming for help and they called 911. Three police officers waited 50 feet from the shore through thick brush to get to her. When they pulled her out, she was conscious and alert. They believe she was stuck there for three days. She was taken to the hospital and is expected to recover. MassDOT set to shut down the Sumner Tunnel tonight at 12.01 for a two-month project to make fixes to the ceiling, the roads, the walls, and the lights. Officials bracing for a domino effect from the Sumner closure with heavy congestion in the Ted Williams Tunnel and on the Tobin. Massport warning drivers to be prepared and add an extra two hours of travel going to and from the airport. Around 300,000 people expected on the Esplanade tonight for the Boston Pops annual fireworks spectacular. Officials opening the area to spectators at noon. They say no backpacks are allowed, but you can bring a cooler if it doesn't have wheels. The concert kicks off at 8 p.m. The fireworks start at 1030. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast and what you can expect on this July 4th with Zach Green. Zach. And thankfully, Kate, the timing is on our side. So by the time we move into the evening hours for the fireworks displays, for the hat shell, for the concert, things should be quieter. We're about a quarter of an inch so far in Boston, about a half an inch in Provincetown and three quarters of an inch over in Norwood. And that's leading to a yet another flood watch across the region. Unfortunately, any additional rain is going to be leading to not only localized flooding, but it's going to be ponding and puddling across many of the roadways. We have high dew points. We have warm temperatures. We have a visibility issue early on. And unfortunately, this is going to be locked in place over the next few hours. So from now through midday, more garden variety showers early afternoon. One to three o'clock is really when we start bubbling things up. So for barbecue plans, if you need to be outside, whether you're hosting, or you're going to a friend's and family's house, you just want to have a little backup or an indoor plan always associated with lightning strikes and increased wind speed. So there's a little severe weather touch, not exactly washout potential, but it could be coming down in buckets over a short window. 6 p.m. and onwards, a lot of this is going to be fading out of the way. And once we go into 9 and 10 o'clock, things should really be improving. At that point, our temperatures are still locked into the upper 60s and low 70s. It's a little sticky, but for the fireworks tonight, we should be doing OK. And then we're back under a dry spell. Oddly enough, it's been hard to come by so far this month, but Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, Kate looking like a beach days because we're into the 90s as we move away from the coastline. All right, Zach, thank you. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.